Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, James Jackson here, MachineMasters.com, here with a really quick tip uh, slash tutorial uh, for the new Machine 2.5.6 update. Um, one of the key features that was added in the new Machine update was the link feature uh, made possible by Ableton. Now, what the link feature is, it's very simple. Think of it as... Think of it as midi syncing multiple devices like in the old school where you'd have like your mpc then you'd have your your roland phantom and you'd sync them together with the midi cable link is very similar to that in the sense that you don't need to hard patch or hardwire anything uh what link is it s literally links and syncs multiple programs together uh that are connected via the same computer source, uh, the same Wi-Fi signal, or the same Bluetooth signal. Uh, you can have multiple sources uh, linked and in time with each other. It's very cool. A um, lot of software is taken advantage of, of course. The machine is now taking advantage of it. Um, Ableton, of course, made it famous. Uh, but you've also got other software out there like uh, Tractor by Native Instruments. You've got uh, Serato, um, Serato DJ for the DJs out there that like to do mash ups and syncs it takes advantage of link uh there are a multitude of ios devices out there uh that take advantage of the link as well so in this tutorial what i'm going to show you today is how to get machine to link with ableton so as you see on my screen i have a machine project open um just a short project I made for the uh, for the sake of this tutorial. I took one of the stock kits from the machine library and I made a simple little drum pattern. What I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to link it to Ableton. So here's Ableton right here, and you see I've got two uh, two sound sources going over here. I've got uh, the 909 kit and I've got this massive VST which I'm using as a using it for bass. So if you'll notice, I'll go back over to machine. You'll notice that machine, you know, the tempo is at 92. So if I press play on here, you hear the tempo. All right, so, and now I'll come over here to Ableton and I'll play my bass line, which you see, is at a tempo of 82. And if I try and hit play on machine and try and link them up, obviously <laughs> the drums are just way too fast for the bass line. So that's where the feature on Ableton Link is going to come into play. So you'll notice up here in the central part of the screen on machine, you've got this button that says link. Simply clicking this button activates link, and you'll notice that there'll be a gray bar going directly across uh, the link pattern, like it's almost counting in time. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to Ableton, and in the upper left-hand corner, we'll click on link as well. So now you'll see that link in Ableton, it has the number one, and then the link is lit up. And then if we come back over to machine, it also shows one in link. And now what that's saying is, is that there's one dev there are there's one device connected to link, or there are one device connected. So there's one device currently connected to the machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these down like this, and I want you to pay attention to the tempos. I'm going to slow the p the tempo down on the push, and you'll notice that machine's tempo is also going to go down. So that's how you know that they are synced in time. When you run the temp, when you change the tempo, tempo changes on both programs. So now I can hit play on machine, and when I'm ready to bring in my bass line, I can just hit play, and it'll come in right on time, like so. Check it out. Hit and play on machine. We're at 84 beats a minute. So now I'm ready for the bass line to come in on the one. Hit play on my scene. And you notice that that's bass line coming in from Ableton. 
I've got my drums over here playing on machine. Now you notice I've got this 909 kit over here, so I'm going to stop everything. Now you notice I got this 909 kit over here. Now what if, you know, in the course of Link and you got a lot of instruments jamming, you want to record, well that's no problem. While the instruments are, are linked together and you have other instruments loaded up, you can record in real time. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm actually going to record uh, an eight, a 909 clap uh, in time with the drum pattern and it's going to be in Ableton and you'll check it out. It'll be it'll be slick once it's done. You'll see. Check it out. So there you guys have it. I hope that answers some of your questions about how to get the Ableton link set up. It's a really cool feature that I thought was, uh, if I had to put my, my own two cents on it, a little bit overdue because link is such a great feature. And there are so many users out there that are utilizing both Ableton and utilizing machine. And using the link, it just gives people like me that love to work in machine the way I do and love to work in Ableton the way I do, it allows you to get the best of both worlds. So one of the things that I also want to point out, um, another little tidbit, I guess you'd call it, is say you want to move all your stuff over from machine and you want to put it into Ableton. Well, you could export you know, all these individual tracks as audio, or what I'd like to do is actually solo uh, the instruments that I want. So I've got my kicks here, and I'll just drag and drop the audio. So we'll grab it, and then we'll drop it right in here to Ableton. So I'll come over here, I'll solo out my snare drum. Same thing, I'm dropping it right over here into Ableton. And I'm going to solo all of the, the hats that I used. And do the same thing. Bring it right on over. So, of course, once you get these into Ableton, you can change the name of them and what have you. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely remove, turn the link off. So, link is off on Ableton. And we'll turn link off on machine. So, that way you are positive we're not getting any bleed through. Come back over here into my session view. Now I've got all my drums over here. 909 and my VST, my mask is over here, and so we can go ahead and go to town and start mixing. Well, you guys, this has been another tutorial from MachineMasters.com. This is your man, James Jackson. Peace.